In a previous video, I explore Unihan text to video capability. And just a few days ago, its image to video feature was released. So I decided to put it to the test again, the best open source alternative right now, which is 1.2.1. We'll compare them in terms of quality, prompt adherence and generation speed, but that's not it. We're also going to compare them with a pay solution. And this time we're not going to use Adobe Firefly, but we're going to use Minimax. We'll not only analyze the results, but we're also going to compare the prompt between open source model and Minimax, which lead to some pretty funny moment. We're going to test it using a stunning project from the University of Stuttgart modeled in Grasshopper and visualize using ConfUI and Flux. Let's dive in. So first I wanted to show you the script I used to generate that image. So I just uh, build, rebuild the script, run through like a try and error on figured out how to build that tower in Grasshopper, which was quite exciting exercise. If you're interested about it, I may do a tutorial about it later on. Uh, just let me know in the, in the comment below um, and it will be a file that will be available for my patron. And here is another file give to give away to my patron. It's, um, it's to get the rule, rule of third when you have your screenshot and I think that quite it's quite helpful you can set up your diamond your end dimension so 1200 by 80 by 720 for example and then you can have your dimensions in grasshopper and the rule of third matching that dimension when you export it in rhino and finally I use that uh, rhino screenshot to put it into Confi UI and to generate an image out of the process um, so if you don't know about this process I have a couple of videos I'll put the link above where you can refer back to it and just have a look at what what's the result and how you can use it uh, and those are like a couple of example of what comes out uh, from the process uh, it's not exactly what the tower looks like the Stuttgart tower looks like at all um, and this is quite interesting I think I was using Configure more as a way to find alternative design to it Okay, so here we're looking at um, Halo Mini Max. Overall, it's quite impressive. That's the first video I generate. So just an image and then how we can move the camera. So there's already some setup there to move the camera accordingly. And I think the consistency overall is quite good. I mean, for one of them was like pan to the left and then pan, it pan to the left in the first video and then it pan to the right on the other video. So. This type of things were quite interesting to see, but overall was quite stunning uh, and impressive how I was adhering to the script. And then there were like some very interesting setup on this. There's a terminology called truck. So I'll show you on the screen. And then basically what happened is I copy paste this, this script that I wrote down for Minimax and I put it into the open source models. So one and LTX and Yun Yun as well and then uh, just to see the result and and I, I kept having this video of trucks <laughs> and I was just like what is happening with the trucks and then reading my prompt I just realized that there were this truck and um, word in the prompt so I had to reshape the, the, the prompt to actually get something quite uh, relevant for, for what I wanted to do so, so this one is Yun Yun uh, image to video and then somehow it just sort of like take the first shot quite nicely start very well and then it just give me a zoom in on that truck so you can see on the video which is quite funny and I was like why is it just sort of zoom in and show me another shot and if we look at the second one that I generate um, same it just sort of change from one shot from my original image back to um, to another zoom where you see a truck <laughs> and there's someone walking towards that truck so very interesting process and then finally after the third iteration I actually got something very nice where finally I had the camera moving the direction I wanted and also the, the sort of speed I, I say slow motion so it's not really slow motion this video unfortunately and also there are like some issues with trees so the trees in the background are like pinkish and then suddenly like the trees that come in the foreground they're 
green and you're just like okay so there's just there's some issue maybe with the season or like it doesn't really comprehend or maybe in the prompt i need to be more specific on like the color of the trees and now we're looking at one 2.1 so again the, the the truck or the car that is coming up from the of this video the first iteration and then this one was like, I'm sure there's something wrong with my prompt. There is like this massive truck coming out of the out of the forest, out of the wood, um, which just doesn't make any sense. So I revised this, the prompt and uh, got this the script. So first, I actually had a look at photoshopping because on the image, I don't know if you see it, but there are like some things at the bottom of the trees, and and I've, maybe that confused the model. Um, so I Photoshop it and then now the second one is sort of showing me my Photoshopping moving which is not ideal either so I put back the previous photo I update the prompt and this is what I get so very interesting and for that credit I found the slow motion on 1 2.1 way more relevant than the slow motion on even on Minimax and also better than Union. Uh, so here in this video, you can see like a very nice actually slow motion. So again, I think it was about refining the prompt to get the truck out of the picture. Um, and then it works really well, like the right sort of movement. And then the second one I generate sort of was okay, but then the tower was starting to rotating a bit too fast in relation to the the camera movement so it feels like the tower was rotating and zooming in so i wasn't super happy with the, the second iteration of one after and now looking at um ltx i still wanted to compare it and see how L L ltx is is performing and in the first video I'm not too sure what it tries to do sort of zoom in and then rotate on that hole but it changed the old geometry so i'm i'm really not happy with it um, and then the second one was really like this sort of wobbly stuff becoming a, a very boring extrusion uh, of timber and I don't know why the shape needs to change <laughs> um, and then the other one just sort of like you know the forest disappear and then there's this zoom in onto the tower like sort of a drawn shot so fourth one is just completely messed up and then the fifth one was actually quite interesting, but again, like some of the zoom in movement and not the, the pan right um, that I asked for, and then just some change in geometry. But at the end, like, you know, the three last one, I sort of get some interesting output, but again, no pan to the right. It's more, it's a zoom in to the tower, but at least the tower is not changing shape or, and it's definitely not a slow motion. So um, it's, it's quite challenging with LTX, but stunning is you click, you click, you click. Like it's just, it's so fast to generate a lot of videos, but there's a lot of waste, I think, uh, out of it. So, okay. So now looking at the final results. So I removed LTX from the sort of the time comparison because it's just, doesn't do exactly what I want. It didn't do the slow motion. So I think Minimax is doing some really nice sort of slow motion and it took about five minutes on the cloud to compute. Uh, Yunyan is actually quite good on the last iteration. So when the prompt is quite refined, it's about 10 minutes to, to be able to render that, that video. Um, and then finally, 1.2.1, which is sort of like, the closest to the prompt, but also the longest to uh, generate. It took about 45 minutes on my 4090 to actually generate the video. Okay, so that's how the interface of Hailio AI look like. So there's a couple of examples of images, um, sorry, videos around. Um, and then when you want to create a video, you just go here. And then he can you can drop your image in um image history so i dropped this one and then what i've done actually for the for the script for the prompt <clears throat> i use exactly the same prompt as the one i use in confi ui to generate the image um just to add more data and more information to this to the script to the prompt and then 
what you can do here is you can actually insert camera movement um, and then the track ride that's what we're talking about <laughs> um, and I think that's the one I use so you go here truck right um, and actually I use truck left pan right so I think there is another one here more um, a cinematic one and I think it's this one here which is debut so it's like a truck left push in pan right so it's pretty uh, complex i think um as a as a prompt for that type of uh, of settings and that's the one i use and and that's where uh confi ui got very confused <laughs> all the models in confi ui uh, and then i press uh, generate and it costs 30 credits and so that's one of the results for example i got again i'm not going to run through again the results but that that's that sort of movement um and then this is sort of the rest of the prompt now moving on on johan um it's a very interesting one so this one is really the new one that um that i wanted to to test now if you go on your official confi ui website i'll put the link below in the description but you have basically text to video so i've done a video about text to video using union i'll put the, the link above and also the link in the description and then we have image to video um, so there's two there are actually two workflow there's a v1 and then a v2 um, so from what i haven't tried the v1 but i was quite interesting by the v2 because it seems to be a bit more slow motion um, so less dynamic than the first one and that's what i'm sort of looking at um, so how we can remove the the dynamic so having something a bit more smooth and and less fast because i think that's the problem i had with ltx so i'll put the link of this one in the description um and the workflow is basically like the same as here so i just you can just go uh, sorry here click on the workflow save the link as okay so i didn't change much from the workflow i download the v2 um, the only things I change is obviously this image. So, you know, by having the right screenshot from Rhino with the rule of third um, in the right dimension of 1280 by uh, 720 allows you to have like a nice output into the first stage of Confi UI, but also afterwards having it here as a ready to go image to put into your workflow. Now I still add, I think the two elements I add, I add also an image resize. Um, of course it's unnecessary because the dimension here of Union uh, image to video works very well with the 7, 720p, so 1280 by 720. But um, I like to keep it like this, so I'm, I'm just sort of, if I decide to upload another image, I have that sort of a component ready to go. Um, the only other things, uh, the length here, so this is 57, so it's about 4 seconds. And for the guidance type here, it's V2, so so I think that's the one that, that changed, so V1 and V2. And then the other one that changed, I believe, is this one here, so it's the model you load here, so that's the V2. Um, so if you have if you go work with a v1 version you have the v1 so if you test the v1 and you want to let me know in a comment below if you found it um interesting or what what was quite good about them um i didn't change the model sampling the guidance and all what i've done here is actually update the prompt so you can see that compared to um to the previous one uh, with Minimax where I had like the truck um, sort of more accurate movement I just kept a cinematic slow motion pan right tracking shot um, so I tried to make it a bit more flowing in the sense of that goes from one to another um, and then again I kept the same prompt as what I, I had um, before so um, I simplified it a bit um on this specific uh, prompt that's it and then the, i use the the tiled one and it generate this nice video is 21 24 frames so this one is the one with the truck that was before i changed the 
the prompt 24 frames um, and it came out quite nice in about 10 minutes second one is the LTX so I already talked about that specific script in another video so I'm not gonna um, talk too much about it but again it's the same um, as the default one so I'm gonna link put the link below as well in the description so you can download it all what I've done is I copy paste again that sort of similar script slow motion cinematic slow motion pan right tracking shot and then try to always define or or describe the, the, the image I find it just works a bit better and then we're dealing with a 0 0.9.5 uh, and then again sort of that's the tricky one here for LTX as well is the dimensions that are used here 768 by 512 which is quite annoying because I have my image that is already set as that specific dimension so what I've done is I used a resized image to uh, whatever dim dimension I need to use for LTX and push through the data um, and then finally at the end I think I changed it from the web one and I just used the video combine here notes from video helper suite um, so if you don't have it it's a very good tool to actually export in, the, um, in uh, H264 which is a, 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 a nice video format you can use And finally, the last one is 1.2.1. So again, I just kept as well the same settings as the default one. There's even the, the Chinese uh, in the negative uh, prompt. Um, and then here you can see that the dimension in one are the same as Yonan. Uh, 1280 by 720, which is uh, makes the things, uh, make the process easy as well. Again, I prefer to keep it still as a resize um, but you don't need that the only things with one and we already talked about it in the previous video but you only have 16 frame um, to be fairly honest with you I don't mind that um, that doesn't really matter to me that's it for today thank you for watching I think there were like some really interesting output I think Union uh, image to video is actually really powerful in the sense of you can have a refined prompt that you can put in and in about 10 minutes with a 4090 you can get a quite interesting results also the dimensions are similar to uh, one so it's a 1280 by 720 and they're both like sort of quite good in terms of quality outcome so I was actually quite amazed by Union again LTX is far behind uh, in terms of prompt understanding and other aspect of the of the video overall I think Union definitely have a spot there uh, it might be to test the prompt before you go into one uh, and you wait for half an hour uh, it might be like a, a good way to refine your prompt or maybe it could be just you use it and then you refine it as you go with Union uh, image to video and then eventually you jump into one when you pretty happy with the outcome and then see what comes out of uh, one so again I found one was super interesting with a truck it just was very obvious that there were an issue with the prompt uh, straight away but unfortunately it's still like the time here it took like 45 minutes to to generate so it's quite time consuming again thanks for watching thanks for my patreon uh, for uh, being there and I will share all the files all the videos with you guys for anyone else I see you in the next video ciao